This is the Subosan Hardness Tester File Set. It allows you to test steels anywhere between HRC40 and HRC65. So you can buy this set with instructions in English and instructions in Japanese. And actually the instructions in Japanese is $10 cheaper than the instructions in English. And you can just look online to see the instructions in English. But I mean, it's really simple to use. What you do is you always start with a hardest file or a file that's harder than you know the material is going to be. Because if you start with a file that's too soft, your material is actually going to damage the file if you rub too hard. So you would start off with a the black one, the black handle one, which is HRC65. If it marks the material, then you know that the material is softer than HRC65. If it doesn't mark the material, you know it's harder, but that's uh, not very common. That's really hard. So then you go down to the blue. If the blue marks the material, then you know that the material is softer than HRC60. If the blue skips off the material, like if it doesn't mark it, then you know that the material is somewhere between 60 and 65 HRC. That's a pretty wide range, but it's a pretty good approximation of what, uh, to be able to tell what uh, the hardness is. So any more than that, you need a very expensive tester to get any more accuracy than that. Um, so same thing, you just keep going down the line. Then if, so if it gets marked by the blue, then it's softer than the blue, so then you move to the green. If it gets marked by the green, which is HRC55, then you move down to the light green and you just keep doing that until you get to the point where the file doesn't mark it anymore. Then you know that the material is somewhere between where the file that doesn't mark it and the file that marks the surface. So we're going to test this out and see how well it works. So here we have this Coleman lantern valve removal tool. And we know that the end of it has been, has been hardened. Spe especially I can take a, f a standard file and, and try to file the edge here and it is super hard. The file is just uh, skimming off of it, skimming off the surface. So um, I think a standard file is at least HRC60. So let's see what the 65 does to this. I quickly learned that scraping the edges like this is not the way to use these files because it doesn't give you the tactile feedback of whether the file is grabbing or not because of course the file is grabbing the edge and you feel it like rough on the edge so you have to do it like they have in those three little pictures on the case which is you have to try to do a flat surface a curved surface or at the worst you know it's an, a corner edge but really you want to do try to find a flat surface or a curved surface to see if the file grabs onto that. Otherwise, you just it won't work well. Like my first attempt was not giving me good results. This this I feel grabbing the metal. The 65, I can feel it grabbing the metal. Here, the 60. Even the 60 is grabbing. Yeah, so the 60 is grabbing on the surface. So maybe an edge, a corner, a corner edge is not really maybe a good thing. Maybe like a flat, a flat surface is better. Like they show in this, in this image here, like going on the flats, going on the curve and maybe using the inside on a corner. The corners are, the corners don't seem that great to do that. This, this feels like it's grabbing, so 60. So I would say it's right about 60 HRC based on that experiment, because the 55, 55 is totally not grabbing. So 55 is not grabbing. So it's somewhere between 55 and 60. I would say on the higher end, closer to 60. If we want to test this other hand end that I know hasn't been hardened, uh, we could even start at 55 and 
test the surface here. See, in this case, 55 grabs. Fifties grabbing. Forty five is grabbing. And even the forty, even the forty is grabbing here on the back. So this is not hardened at all. Let's take a look at how hard an X-Acto blade is. So again, I probably don't want to do a corner because the corner is deceptive to see, to see um, how hard the surface is. What I probably want to do is just like the, the surface here. And that 65 definitely grabs right there. You can see the scratches. Let's see the 60. Okay, the 60 is not grabbing. Well, yeah, it's still grabbing us, but not, not the same as, not the same as the, the 65 was, but it's still, the 60 is still grabbing and scratching it. Okay, so let's go down to the 55. I suspect the 55 won't do anything. Yeah, the 55, it feels like I'm on glass. The 55 is not doing anything. So, it's somewhere, the, the hardness of these X-Acto blades is somewhere between 55 and 60, probably closer to the 60 end because it was, uh, it felt like the 60 wasn't grabbing too much, but it was grabbing just a little bit. So let's test the hardness of these deburring tools. These are the deburring tools that um, came with this deburring handle and I, filed this around here a little bit to smooth it out because it was really sharp when you're holding it with your fingers there. So um, let's put this on here and we're going to test the back side of this to see how we can scratch it. Now the black, now the black oxide coating we can probably scratch through but um, that feels actually like it's not doing too much even at 65. So it's scratching that black oxide, but it's really not doing much to the metal underneath. And maybe I should try this surface here. Oh, these are hard. These are hard because it's barely scratching that. Now the 60. Oh yeah, this is the 60s not doesn't not doing anything. It's not even it's not even scratching it. So oops. These are hard for sure. Uh, between these are hard in between 60 and 65, and I would say even at the higher end, almost closer to 65, because the 65 was barely doing anything to it. So you know that these have actually been hardened pretty well. So how hard is a drill bit, you may be asking yourself. This is a high-speed steel, made in the USA, well-used drill bit, and uh, we're gonna check to see how hard it is. So we'll start off with the 65 first, and I'm gonna check down here, right at the top of the flutes, and the 65 definitely grabs and scratches the surface. So the, the 60, doesn't grab much. Grabs it. I'd say the 60s kind of skates off the surface mostly. The more you get to the back, so it's definitely it's definitely soft. It's softer back here, and then the more you get in the flutes here. This is. Oh. So I got this file set with a specific purpose in mind of testing the hardness of metals that were hardening at the shop. And uh, for that purpose, I believe it works perfectly well. Even though the range is up by fives, it's um, perfectly fine for our use to know approximately where it is. And you can actually tell whether it's like on the low side or the high side. 
So you can make a pretty educated guess as to what um, within, I would say, plus or minus, plus or minus two to three HRC where uh, the hardness is.